In this video, we'll discuss Ethereum and six of the best use cases of Ethereum smart contracts. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you'll immediately get notified when a new video comes out. Ethereum is a technology that lets you send cryptocurrency to anyone for a small fee. It also powers applications that everyone can use and no one can take down. It's the world's programmable blockchain. Ethereum is a development platform that people can build upon. It's an operating system like Apple, Android, or Microsoft Windows. Developers write programs that run on the Ethereum system in much the same way they do for Windows or for apps that run on Android or Apple phones. Ethereum is different because it's an operating system for the blockchain. So, instead of having to create your own blockchain, you can build programs on top of Ethereum's blockchain. This makes rolling out a blockchain application much faster and cheaper than building an entire blockchain network from scratch. Like Bitcoin, Ethereum is a decentralized platform that runs smart contracts. Decentralized applications are called dApps for short. Each dApp runs exactly as programmed without any possibility of downtime, censorship, fraud, or third-party interference. These applications run on a custom-built blockchain. The blockchain is a shared network that can move value around and represent property ownership. Smart contracts are only executed when pre-specified conditions are met. And the blockchain automatically enforces the terms of the agreement. There have been thousands of decentralized apps built on Ethereum, millions of users and many billions of dollars generated by dApps. Let's take a look at some of the major use cases that have arisen on Ethereum so far. One. Decentralized Finance or DeFi DeFi refers to a system of applications that aim to recreate traditional financial instruments with cryptocurrency. It is similar to smartphone applications but built with smart contracts. DeFi platforms are reinventing traditional financial products and services, adding programmable, decentralized, and censorship-resistant features to create new financial products. For example, through DeFi lending, users can loan or borrow cryptocurrency as you could with fiat currency at a bank and earn interest as a lender. Interest fluctuates depending on demand at the time, and borrowers must provide collateral with other crypto assets as the process is nearly anonymous. Unlike with a traditional bank, borrowers using DeFi apps cannot be held accountable with physical assets if unable to effectively pay back a loan. According to DeFi polls, the three largest DeFi lenders are currently Maker, Compound, and Av. In total, nearly $80 billion is locked in DeFi applications. One could earn more interest by investing with cryptocurrency through DeFi applications. In addition, yield farming, which is the process of constantly lending and borrowing crypto to take advantage of the best interest rates, will also be a disruptive part of DeFi. 2. Decentralized Autonomous Organizations, or DAOs Sometimes called DAC, a decentralized autonomous corporation is member-owned communities without centralized leadership. DAOs are an effective and safe way to work with like-minded folks around the globe. Think of them like an internet-native business that's collectively owned and managed by its members. They have built-in treasuries that no one has the authority to access without the approval of the group. Decisions are governed by proposals and voting to ensure everyone in the organization has a voice. There's no CEO who can authorize spending based on their own whims and no chance of a dodgy CFO manipulating the books. 
Everything is out in the open, and the rules around spending are baked into the DAO via its code. The backbone of a DAO is its smart contract. The contract defines the rules of the organization and holds the group's treasury. Once the contract is live on Ethereum, no one can change the rules except by a vote. If anyone tries to do something that's not covered by the rules and logic in the code, it will fail. And because the treasury is defined by the smart contract too, that means no one can spend the money without the group's approval. This means that DAO don't need a central authority. Instead, the group makes decisions collectively and payments are authorized automatically when votes pass. This is possible because smart contracts are tamper-proof once they go live on Ethereum. You can't just edit the code without people noticing because everything is public. Today, there are more than 200 DAOs, most popular of which are MakerDAO and Moloch DAO. 3. Enterprise Ethereum one of the strongest pieces of evidence for Ethereum's long-term prospects is the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, or EEA. Enterprise Ethereum refers to customized software and networks based on Ethereum that are created for private corporations and businesses. These networks are permission, meaning enterprise clients retain control over the architecture the validators, and the users. The Enterprise Ethereum Alliance now has more than 200 member organizations, including Samsung Group, JP Morgan, MasterCard, and Microsoft, all of whom are experimenting with private versions of Ethereum for enterprise purposes. JP Morgan and more than 300 banks use a version of Enterprise Ethereum to run an interbank payment network. The Covantis Initiative, set up by a group of institutions in the commodity industry, uses Enterprise Ethereum to run a post-trade execution platform for agricultural shipping transactions. And Microsoft, Moet Hennessy, and Louis Vuitton adopted Enterprise Ethereum to build a tracking platform for luxury goods. Four. Non-Fungible Tokens, or NFTs An NFT is a digital asset that represents real-world objects like art, music, in-game items, and videos. They are bought and sold online with cryptocurrency, and they are generally encoded with the same underlying software as many cryptos. Although they've been around since 2014, NFTs are gaining notoriety now because they are becoming an increasingly popular way to buy and sell digital artwork. With NFTs, artwork can be tokenized to create a digital certificate of ownership that can be bought and sold. It allows the buyer to own the original item. Not only that, it contains built-in authentication which serves as proof of ownership. Collectors value those digital bragging rights almost more than the item itself. Hype over NFTs began in late 2017 with the launch of CryptoKitties Digital Cat Collectibles, but since then, the applications for the technology have grown rapidly. 5. Stablecoins Stablecoins are Ethereum tokens designed to stay at a fixed value even when the price of ETH changes. Stable coins are cryptocurrencies without the volatility. They share a lot of the same powers as ETH, but their value is steady, more like a traditional currency. So you have access to stable money that you can use on Ethereum. Stable coins are global and can be sent over the internet. They're easy to receive or send once you have an Ethereum account. Demand for stable coins is high, so you can earn interest for lending yours. Stable coins are secured by cryptography. 
no one can forge transactions on your behalf. Stable coins are used as a reliable store of value in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, a hedge against price volatility for crypto traders, and a stable global currency for people whose local fiat currency is devalued due to economic or political instability. Tether and USD coin are the top largest stablecoin by market capitalization. 6. Digital Identity Management Ethereum blockchain solves one of the most burning problems of the people, that is, identity theft and data monopoly. Currently, any company with credit card and debit card information can sell private information to anyone at monopoly rates. The problem is real, and identity theft is happening rapidly. Therefore, to secure this problem, the data could be stored in a Uport app, and this can only be accessed by you. With this technology, your data remains safe in Uport, and it cannot be accessed by any company. So there we have our top 6 real-life use cases of Ethereum. Ethereum has led to the creation of new products and services that can improve different areas of our lives. We're still in the early stages, but there's a lot to be excited about. Finally, if you're watching this video on YouTube and enjoy what you've seen, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and tick the bell so that you'll be notified as soon as we post new episodes. It really helps us out a lot. Thanks for joining me here in this channel 